Hi everyone, I'm back with another video to show you what's going out in the post today. We've sold 34 items totaling um, £566.86, so it's been a really good midweek. Still got a few bits that um, haven't been paid for yet. Um, fingers crossed they'll get paid today and it'll be a good weekend. So just um, to tell you a little bit about us, if you're new, I'm Faye and my husband is Simon and we're FNS resellers. You can find us on Instagram as well. We pretty much sell anything we think there's, um, we can make a bit of money on. And we do it on eBay and Amazon and a few little bits on Depop and Vinted, but nothing amazing on there. Um, so yeah, we've been doing it for a good few years now. We saw some charity shops, auctions, the odd car boot, but it's not really our thing. Um, retail shops, eBay and Amazon are great places to source as well. And the odd Facebook marketplace pickup. Um, so yeah, we if you're thinking about be, do if you're thinking about reselling, give it a go. We do it full time, but you can do it part time. You can just sort of try it out. It's it's just it's great fun. If you uh, try it, you'll probably get hooked like we did. Uh, so yeah, I am going to show you all thirty four items. I'll start with breakables like I usually do. Um, first of all, we've got this fish i guess it's a vase i called it a vase on the listing it came in a big glass um job lot so over the past year we've had to sort of rely on job lots and um sort of big uh collections of things rather than source individual items because uh, obviously you can't go out to charity shops so We've, when we buy in bulk like that, we don't really get to see what the items are, what condition they're in, and even what make or brand they are. So it, it's a risk, it always is a risk, and there's often things that aren't great, but we still sort of sell them anyway, um, if it's worth it. We do have a pile of stuff to go to the charity shop when they do reopen, but if we can sell it, either by um, sort of doing a job lot, which I've got a few to show you, or just even if we make a pound, it's money back in the pot for when we can go sourcing again. So yeah, so this is an art glass fish vase. Uh, I did some research on it on Facebook. There's some really good glass or sort of vintage glass groups that you can join and um, ask for help in identifying what items are. But this is apparently Romanian. It's hand blown and it's vintage. I, I didn't know who made it. There's no sort of maker's mark or anything on there. And uh, not that I could see, but sometimes they are hidden. Uh, got it in October, paid £5.67 and we let it go for £10.62 because it's been hanging around long enough already. I've shown you some out, uh, Gobel, it's called, uh, Gobel items before. Simon's bought two job lots of these now, uh, a lot in January and some in February. So this one is from the January haul that he bought. It worked out £6.48 an item and this one sold for £25. It's Gobel Hummel is the make and it's a plaque Millennium 2000. It's number 900 because it's got that on the base. And trade TMK 8, which it says, oh, that's all to do with the logo. It's different variations of the logo. Um, it's vintage, it's original, it's from Germany and it's from 1999 because the date is on there as well. Um, yeah, if it's your sort of thing. They're very collectible, look out for them in charity shops. And this one also sold this week. It's called Stargazer, they've all got a name, easy to find online. And it's number 132. It says it somewhere. Oh yeah, it's all sort of in the porcelain. Uh, TMK8, a boy with a telescope, and it's got this little sort of chain thing on it. Uh, this one cost £6.48 out of the same job lot as the last one. So we got it in January and it sold for £50. So good, <coughs> good money in those, excuse me. Um, I'm gonna go with this big one to start with just to get it out my way. So, like I was just saying, when we source in bulk, we do it at the auctions mainly. Uh, we don't know what we're getting. Well, we, we might know sort of um, the department it comes under. So it could be homework, it could be clothing, it could be makeup. 
so we know that much, but we don't necessarily know what's in the bag. And there's never loads of photos. Uh, so you just sort of zoom in and see what you can see. Something sometimes catches my eye and other times I just take a risk. So in, oh, when's this one from? February, I bought a load of stationery. Wasn't that great, but I did make my money back and it wasn't exciting. It wasn't exciting lot. You know, if you buy things in bulk, maybe you don't, but when I buy things in bulk, there's some things I come across and I think, oh yeah, that's like worth 50 quid and this whole bag costs 50 quid. It's exciting. But this one wasn't really like that. So rather than list everything, I list the few bits that I wanted to list and then I just put everything back in the bag, took some photos and added a title, which I put as job lot, stationery, craft items, seller tape, Stadler, which is a brand, Post-it, Bic, Oxford, Helix, all brand new items. I just put them in a bag, listed it as it was. In the description, I put there's approximately however many items there are. Um, and it's sold, so the whole lot cost me £2.94. And I sold it for, it's actually, it's hard to see because the same person's bought two bundles off me. This one sold for £24.99. So diaries in there, there's like professional colouring pencils, brand new rolls of sellotape, Boxes of Bic Biros. I mean, it's all good stuff, all usable stuff. There's paints, um, yeah, paint there's like clear sort of craft boxes that you can decorate, and all sorts of things in there. But it's just not worth listing sort of individually. So I just did that. And as you can see, it's taken up a lot of space. It's quite big, so to get that out of the way and gone is great for us. And that person also bought this one. So there's a load of sort of makeup brushes, applicators, sponges, um, like cloths and sort of pads, all sorts of brushes in there, um, eyeshadow brushes. And individually, they weren't worth listing. It's gonna take me ages to list them anyway. So I just put them in a bundle together. It cost me £3.76. What I did is I worked out the cost price of everything that I wanted to list individually and then treated this as one item. So it cost £3.76. And it, I listed it as makeup brushes, sponges, applicators, times 60. There's actually more than 60 because when there was like a pack of three, I just counted that as one. And I put job lot, wholesale, trader, reseller, all new, which they are all new. And I sold this one for to the same person that bought the stationery. This one sold for £29.99. So I'm really pleased with that. That's two big bags out the door. We'll put them in the same box and we'll send them UPS. And uh, <coughs> there's money back in the in the pot for sourcing. I always get tickly throat. Uh, yeah, so that's created a bit of space. Oh, one more. I, if you watched my video the other day, you saw you would have seen that I sold one where I didn't know what anything was in there really. So in the description, in the title, I put it was Alibaba and Wish items, which a lot of them were. I managed to figure that out. And I put in the product description that they were all unchecked. Um, and basically I didn't know what half of it was. I was really honest. Someone bought it and they've left me like brilliant feedback. They absolutely loved it. So I'm happy with that. <laughs> because I just, I was a bit anxious about selling it on because I thought, well, I wouldn't want to buy this, but I was honest and they're pleased, so all good. This last one is a, a household, so I put it's, it's 40 items in here, there's actually a few more, but it's a job lot of 40 household, kitchen, craft, fashion, toy, pet, unsorted, brand new car boot. I listed it in March. Uh, this lot cost 4 49 after I calculated everything that I had listed from that big bundle. And I took an offer of £10 plus post. And in here, there's like colour changing charcoal for your fire. Um, weird stuff, like little sort of wicker craft things. There's a cheese grater. There's what look, look like whiteboard markers. There's some spoons. Um, yeah, hair things. Little trinket pot. A bag. 
toilet sign. Um, yeah, so I'm glad that's going as well. So that's three big bundles gone. Uh, so if you have a load of stuff hanging around, if you've got stuff, maybe it's been sitting around for a year and you're like hanging on for a pound, why don't you bundle them all together and list as one and like make a tenner or something? Make it interesting, make it worthwhile to the person that you want to sell it to rather than just, I don't know, a pen or um, a cheese grater. <laughs> Group them together, job lot, done. I haven't had those listed for very long at all. And um, the plan is to get all our unlisted stock listed before the 12th of April. We kind of have my stock and then we have Simon's stock. We both, we source all different sorts of things, but then there's things that he likes listing and there's things he has no clue about listing and the same for me. So when it comes to clothes and shoes, makeup, beauty, all that sort of thing, I'll list that and bric-a-brac. And um, when it comes to DVDs, electronics, board games, Simon likes doing all that, so he does that. So we've got a lot of sort of bric-a-brac stuff left. Um, I'll say a lot, not that much. I'm hoping to have it all listed by the end of next week, in which case I am completely up to date with um, all of my items. And Simon's got um, bits and bobs, for, like he's got a pinball machine, all sorts of things that need testing. And then we've got these big clear bags of clothes that we didn't want to list, and they're kind of my bundles that I need to list. They're the last bundles we've got, and they're stacked up in the corner of our spare room. There must be about 15 bags of like clothes and all brand new um, that we want to sell as a bundle. So once I've got those listed, I'm hoping that people will buy them as quick as they've bought those. And I am clear, I am up to date, ready to source again on the 12th of April. Right. Um, this came in a job lot. It's a print of Harrogate, which is in sort of Leeds way, but it's going GSP. I think it's going to America. It cost £2.13 as part of a homeware bundle in October and sold it for £11.69. It's called Harrogate the Royal Pump Room and it's like a vintage style poster in, in a frame. And that's not the sort of thing I'd usually pick up, but it was in a job lot, so I gave it a go. Um, some Calvin Klein, I love selling Calvin Klein underwear. It always sells really quickly, although this one's been listed since November. Uh, they, it's because it's white, the black ones, the grey ones, they, and the navy blue ones always sell really quickly. Uh, these have been hanging around a little while, but they cost £1.93 for this brand new pack um, in a job lot of underwear that we bought. They're extra large and I took an offer of £14 because I only paid £1.93. And we don't want the stock hanging around forever. Some more Calvin Klein. These tracksuit bottoms. We get a lot of these in, these were sold in Costco, so they sell them as two packs. Um, a lot of them have, been, have fallen out their packet, although they're brand new, they can't sell them, so we buy them in bulk. And these are a two pack of joggers, extra large, uh, grey and black. These hadn't fallen out the packet, but the packet had ripped a little bit and it still takes it up, that's why they took it off the shelves in Costco sold it to me but I listed them in February it cost us £5.17 and I took an offer of £40 so I'd say that's a pretty good one got another um I left them in the kitchen I thought I had another Calvin Klein oh no over here new with tags Calvin Klein bralettes so it's like a crop top sort of sports top and um, it's small I've said it's brand new about tags but it has got a tag I'm not sure what that's all about yeah that's cost £1.93 in November so it's in the same job lot as the boxer shorts and I took an offer of £21.37 and that's really easy just stick it in a poly bag like mail bag and that'll go large letter. Some more knickers. You've seen that I've sold Primark before. I don't source Primark, but when it comes in bundles, the underwear seems to be quite popular. I've sold bras really quickly uh, that are Primark. That was a few videos ago. But these knickers are secret possessions knickers, size small, 
and they're a three pack and they're brand new with tags. Yeah, there we go. They cost £1.76. I listed them this month month, and they went for £6.64. And it basically boils down to the fact that Primark you can't shop online. So if people have their favourite underwear from Primark and they can get it on eBay, then they're going to, aren't they? <gasps> Buy it from me. So what's this one? Duplo, Lego Duplo. This was in a job lot of uh, games and toys and games that Simon picked up. Uh, I didn't realise they did um, Mickey, like Disney Junior. This was listed on Amazon as seller for Phil. So if it sells on Amazon, we post it because we've got it here. Uh, and we cross-listed it to eBay and it sold on eBay. It cost, I'm not sure how much it cost, maybe £4, £4 or £5. And it sold for 19 so that's pretty good. We couldn't list it as brand new because the box has a little bit of wear like on the edges. Yeah, so as long as you're honest about the condition, I mean, it's never been opened. And oh, yeah, it's got like a it's like it's been in a box, and someone's opened a box with a Stanley knife and it's gone through to the stock underneath. So, we, we've had quite a lot of those sort of items, but just declare it if you're honest, people know what they're going to get. And if you if you want to, if you've got Amazon stock and you want to cross list it to eBay, just give us a shout, we can help you. It's really easy, really, really easy. One of Simon's little bundles that he put on auction sold this week. It's called Sinclair ZX Spectrum Spectrum 8 Games Bundle 48k Chase HQ Nightmare Rally Tusker Xavier. I don't really know what any of that means. Uh, it cost £24.20 as part of a big job lot of stuff that he picked up. And we sold it for £7.05 on auction plus postage. So, not great, but it's out the door. We would have made our money back on the, on the items that were in the bundle. And they're just the ones he didn't want to list individually, so he just put them together. I, was, I really want to keep these. I love pens. But this was in a stationary bundle. This is probably in the stationary bundle that... Um, like the job lot of like the bits I didn't want I've showed you already. This would have been one that I picked out and listed on its own. They're dual tip brush pens, 36 colours. And I paid $2.94 in February and I sold for $14.99. There's like every colour going in there. Another Costco item, the Carol, is it Vanderbilt? Vanderbilt. It's, Amer it's popular in America. Uh, but yeah, they sell these in Costco because I saw them recently. They're seamless wire-free bras, two pack. This is extra large. And I paid £5.17 for these in Feb, so last month, and I sold them for £19.99. Brand new, in their box, in a mailer, and easy to post. The DVD, love selling DVDs. This one we've got as a cost price of zero, not sure why. And this was a bit of a, a rubbish one. It sold for £3.59. But if it didn't cost us anything, then we've made a little bit. It's Girls Series 1. The complete season. Brand new and sealed. Another one of Simon's. Ninja Rush. Uh, it's a board game. And it cost £2 in February. And it sold for £8.75. Not a great one. But worth selling all the same. You'd have checked it because it's not new. You'd have checked inside, put in the um, product description that it was complete. And yeah, I made a couple of quid on that. We probably wouldn't pick it up again, but it, if it came in a drop lot, we didn't have a choice. Uh, it's hard to see this probably. But these are cauldron salt and pepper pots. So in the shape of like a witch's cauldron. They're brand new in their box. There you go. And they were not listed that long ago, actually. Um, I listed those this month, I think. Yeah, they cost price of £4.49, sold for £5. <laughs> A scarf going out the door. Got so many scarves, so I'm pleased when they sell. I took an offer on this one, I think. Uh, listed it in December for £1.93. 
not got a particular brand it's just i've just described it as a scarf long mustard gold navy black check patterns lightweight chiffon it's new but it hasn't got the tags cost 193 in december and i took an offer of six pound 47. just want to clear out all our scarves a baseball cap that came in one of our um, hat job lots this one is called sam holo uh, it's denim blue, it's a DJ dance music electronic trap brand or DJ, future bass. Uh, listed it in January, cost us £4.34 and sold it for £19.99. And it's brand new, so it's got barcode sticker on the peak still. Another shock absorber bra going out today. I've shown you uh, a couple of these in other videos. But it's ex Debenham stock. And they're all brand new with tags. This one is, I listed it this month. It cost me £1.76. And I sold it for 39 It's got the tag on it. So really pleased with that, really pleased. When we um, store our clothes, we store them in tubs. And like we'll have a bra tub and we'll have a pants tub, socks tub. And we always put a sticker on because mainly it's easier to find things when we put a label on. But also Simon wouldn't know the difference between a sports bra and a and a push-up bra. <laughs> so yeah, I just put the brand, like the start of the title basically, the brand and the size. So he can, when he's picking stock, if I'm not around, then he can find it easily. Some socks that we've had a while. These are knee length socks with bows on or just go over the knee with bows on. I actually had a pair in our last video. They're kind of like, I guess teenage girls when I was at school would have worn them with like really short skirts. Uh, but they're over the knee black socks with bows and I've put uh, school, fancy dress, sports, party in the title. They cost 59p each and the person bought two because I had an offer. If they buy one, they get 25% off the second one because I've got a few pairs of these. Well, I did have a few pairs. And they went for, they've been listed since August, and they went for £11.78. So 59p, so £1.18 into eleven seventy eight is pretty good. And this one is the last one out of that basket. I've got one more basket to show you. It's Bondi Sam's, the Australian tan, everyday gradual tanning milk cost two pounds and listed it in February and sold it for nine. I actually managed to do some retail arbitrage about a month ago in Sainsbury's. I popped to Sainsbury's shopping. Uh, it's not my favorite supermarket, but it's the closest. And while I was there, I saw that all the sort of clothes and toys and everything, all of that, all those departments were open. So I just had a bit of a mooch about and came across the clearance. And they had a load of baby stuff in the clearance section and they had these Munchkin Dots baby bath mats, brand new. And <clears throat> they reduced it to three pounds. I bought uh, three of them and sold it for 12.99. Not bad. It made me feel good being able to look and buy. A uh, pair of tights sold this morning. This was in an underwear job lot. They're M&S Autograph Velvet Touch Luxe Opaque Tights in a large 100 denier appearance. Listed them in February. They cost £1.76 and I took an offer of £8.50. This one was disappointing. Uh, an auction that we started at 99p. It's a Zara dress, I think. Is it at the bottom? Gonna be at the bottom. Yeah, Zara dress, large white blue textured shift dress, and it's brand new with tags. Yeah, you can just sort of see the string on the tag there. Um, cost me six ninety nine in March last year. Put it on auction, and it went for ninety nine p plus post. The problem with our auctions recently is there was a glitch on eBay. So we all our auctions tend to finish on a Sunday evening. And then they automatic all unsolds automatically automatically relist to end the following Sunday at about eight nine o'clock at night, and there was a massive glitch, and they started listing relisting all our um, unsolds.
to end in the middle of the night. Oh, it was so annoying. So the people that would maybe normally be looking at 99p auctions were in better sleep when ours were finishing. Never mind. Uh, a pair of Clark sandals. Now I can't remember if I bought these from a charity shop or if I bought them off my hair, an old hairdresser of mine. Um, I bought them in, I listed them in August last year. They cost seven pounds and they sold for 14 99 because they've just been hanging around too long. They've never been worn. They're, they're nice wedges. But I just want to clear down all my shoes. So I was happy to see the back of them. This was in a shoe bundle. It's a start right for kids shoes, measuring gauge for children aged three plus. Um, at, or with small feet size nine to a large 12. Uh, it's brand new, it comes with the instructions on how to use it. So good for people who want to measure their kids feet but can't get to a shoe shop at the moment. The shoes in the shoe haul were really good. Um, and they worked out a cost price of £7.83, which is fine because I've I had trainers that were 60, 70 quid in there. But I still counted this as cost price of 7.83, but it wasn't worth any more than 10.99, so that's fine. This one's a good one. Uh, I think this is the last one of these. We had a few sort of similar rugby zip-up tops. So this is a British and Irish Lions rain jacket. Extra large, it's Canterbury, and it's um, still in the Canterbury branded bag. Yeah, see it on there. It cost £7.29 in February, and we sold it for £58.65. We'll probably send it UPS because it's high value. Uh, so Nautica t-shirts, these came in a clothing bundle. I think they sell these at Costco as well. They're men's multi-pack of t-shirts. Uh, yeah, crew neck t-shirts. So size medium, they get two black and one grey. Um, cost £2 in January and sold for £11.99. And then finally, if you watched our last video, I, you would have seen that I was talking about uh, mystery boxes so I've listed th three variations of beauty mystery boxes on eBay I can't call them mystery boxes but I'm just calling them mystery boxes now um, I called them a beauty random selection bundle and then in the title I also put kind of what areas they might receive products for so I've put hair body skin pampering items all brand new I've got one with six in, one with nine in, and one with 20 in. And the nine, or is it 10? I don't know. So the cheap one that's got six items in it, I've sold a few now. And last night I sold a 20 item one, which is the first time. The middle one, I haven't sold any yet, but that's fine, it was all an experiment. Because I've got one of these crates here, like a supermarket crate literally overflowing with beauty products that i just want gone um so if you want any if you want to buy a mystery box give me a shout and i can um get some stuff out to you because it's all brand new it's all like so a lot of it's really good stuff and some of it i don't even know what it is um but i've put them together so this one is it's a six item um one that costs five pound plus I think it's 199 post. So in this box, I've picked a Ultimate Gel Eyeliner. So London copyright, it's brand new and sealed. Um, an Alginist AA Barrier Serum. <clears throat> I wouldn't even know what to do with that. Um, <clears throat> a pre-makeup, whatever that is, like a primer or something. Uh, long lasting lip gloss, California vitamin serum, and Hilux lashes. There we go, lashes. So, the people that are buying these, I don't know if they're buying them for themselves or to resell, not bothered. Um, I, just need, I just need to get rid of it all. Uh, here's another six item one. So we've got a body shop mask, um, an eyeshadow brush, 
a lush rose lollipop lip balm, hair scrunchie. This is, I don't even know what it is. Oh, mini multi eye color palette. And sexy lip color mini heartbeat pills. So not actually pills, it's just like a little lip gloss that looks like a pill, like a capsule. And this one is kind of 401, whichever color that is. So I'd say that's well worth five pound plus post. I'm being generous because I want it gone, but I also want really good feedback for it. So if I do need to creep the price up, I can. And then this last one is a six item one as well. So I've got a Garnier skincare mask. I've got a nail file, which is Ooh Beauty Range. Uh, Mary Kay Botanical Effects High Moisturising Lotion with SPF 30. Makeup sponges. Uh, Ephoro Hyaluronic Acid Face Cream. And Relax and Recharge Barry M set, which has Nourishing Sleep Mask, Purifying Clay Mask, a Cooling Cucumber Mask, and a Bright New Watermelon Mask. I could, th I could spend a lot of time on it and think, well, I've given them another mask. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I just think it's just good quality stuff for the price. Get it gone. And then this one is the 20 item one. So I've been very generous with this because I want really good feedback so I can sell more of these. So I've put it in a box, which I'm going to line with tissue paper because we've got loads of tissue paper. Each one will get a thank you sticker put on it. I've got these nice purple thank you stickers. And this one has some Marks and Spencer's shower cream, almond milk vanilla. So they paid $14.99 for this. The, all these items cost me pence. So you tell me if you think this is good value. Uh, so MS shower cream, Dove Derma Spa Summer Revive with Soft Shimmer, uh, Lavdic Hair Growth Serum, prevents hair fall, promotes hair growth. A Francesca Builder Gel, so gel nails. A Repair Remove Scar Cream, R Top R. Agonist Alive Prebiotic Balancing Mask. In Transit Camera Close Up Mask Moisturizer and Primer in One. I can't even read that. Facial Oil, Lavender and Bergamot and Frankincense. Carite Argan Oil SOS Lip Plump, Kifoni Bronze and Highlighter Stick, something Figs and Rouge Renew and Refine Pore Detox Revival Serum, Belay Lactobionic Acid Stock Solution. I don't know what to do with that. Um, full cover concealer, reusable swabs, so like earbuds and things in there, reusable ones, uh, an opala, an eyelid doubling makeup, the third generation of magic eye gel, whatever that is, a Philip Kingsley bodybuilding weightless conditioner, a blue thin Precise Skin Body Cream, Korea Hyaluronic Acid Serum, Urban Vida Turmeric and Botanics Radiance Exfoliating Facial Polish, and a bag of lavender Epsom salts. So I reckon that's pretty good for $14.99. Let me know what you think. Um, if you would like to buy any of my beauty bundles or just try one, for yourself or to yourself, just give me a shout and I can sort one out for you. Um, so yeah, that's everything that's going out today. It's been good for midweek and this weekend we're not doing as much work because it was Simon's birthday last week and I couldn't get it for last week so it had to come this week but we've hired a hot tub. It's all set up in the garden and we've had cocktails delivered, like a whole kit. So we're having cocktails in the hot tub tonight and probably tomorrow and maybe Sunday. <laughs> 
it's getting picked up on Monday. So just going to enjoy ourselves and have some fun, do some listing as well, but not as much as we would normally do. Um, hopefully we'll have a really good sales weekend because I'll be back on Tuesday with another video showing you what's um, going out. Uh, so yeah, if you liked what you've seen, please like and subscribe. You can find us over on Instagram. If you've got any questions, need any help, if you want a beauty bundle, just give us a shout over there and um, have a great weekend. Um, I hope you sell lots or I hope I've inspired you to start reselling. Have a good one. See you later.